And uh, as I titled the stream, we're going to be doing some heavy lifting today. I've got some first objectives I'd like to do, and a lot of them are going to require that kind of work, so... Not sure how difficult they're going to be, but definitely going to be uh, bigger loads that we have to move around. All right, let's go ahead and hop in here. Oh, okay. Well, I forgot that I stopped in this truck, but uh, this is kind of an update thing. So I purchased this one truck. Uh, I think it's called the International Transporter or something like that. Uh... I've been wanting to get this for a while, but it was kind of pricey. But I was able to scrape together a decent amount of money through various means. I've been trying it out, and it's actually fantastic. Uh, I have it all upgraded, so... I'm not sure how good it would be early game. But with everything upgraded, it is really good. It's actually my favorite scout truck right now. We'll take a look at that later, though, because that's not the scope of what we want to do here. As a matter of fact, let's just change over here. So I just brought this over to help refuel this truck. So what we're going to do, and I want to track the quest, is I'm just going to try and hammer out, if not all of the quests for the rest of Michigan, at least this one. So I already only, uh, I already did one part of this, uh, but we can hit this at a couple different angles. So I have a couple trucks already in position. Uh, we have the the twin steer that we're about to use and we're going to go over to the abandoned drilling site pick up one of those drilling parts and head back but i also have the uh the cat over here uh ready to pick up as well did i already pick up with that one i might have already picked it up but that you know that's fine we'll we'll do the uh this part first because we're already over here all right let's get going I think there was an update since last I streamed. I tried to look up what the update is. The one problem with the Epic Game Store, unlike Steam, you get no information. So even though you do a download, it doesn't tell you what it is. At least not that I've been able to see. And I wasn't able to find anything at a cursor, cursory glance on the website. Uh, I tried to peek at Reddit too, but I didn't really see what the update was, so... Could have just been some bug fixing and stuff. Now, I don't know how easy this path is going to be. This is the first time I'm picking up one of these uh, drilling equipment parts from this location. Actually, you know what? That might not be true. I might have hit this place up before. I can't remember where I got my first set of equipment from. But I don't think this uh, is going to be too bad of a trip with this guy. We just have to worry about the turning circle. It's got the power. It can handle it. Unless we find out it doesn't fit on it. <laughs> it should fit on it. I'm going to turn around before I take up the cargo. Because some of this area around here is muddy. No reason to get bogged down until we're at least headed the right direction. Yeah, we're even taking this circle kind of wide. I might have to back up here. Yeah, yeah. Let's back up because I think we're just going to go plowing into those trees if I just keep on the course we're going. I do like this truck, but I'm a little worried outside this map. It's not going to have a lot of utility. Because the fact that it can't really take turns very well. And it's only rear drive. I just don't know. I think it'd get bogged down in Russia. I don't even know what tires this thing has. Because I'm just using it as is after I picked it up. Alright, this is probably good enough. So drilling equipment is indeed what we need. So it's going to fill up all of our bed. All right, let's, let's zoom out a little bit so we can see. All right, get going. This thing burns fuel pretty pretty heavily as well, but we've got that one scout car with a, a fuel thing. I've got multiple things 
ready to go to support. I don't think we're going to run out of fuel anytime soon. I don't think fuel is even going to be a problem on this trip. Because it's really at this point just one way. We're going to do the rest of the journey with that other truck which I already picked up the drilling equipment. And then we'll have this one wrapped up. Oh, <laughs> a lot of bounce in there. We are probably top heavy now. Okay, so this bit's going to be a little tricky. There is a possibility we flip here. I'm going to take it easy. I'm not necessarily going to follow the road as it bends. I'm just going to go straight. Rather than put ourselves at a slope. Might make it a little harder to get going, but I think we'll be okay. Alright, what's the... Um, actually, what direction do I need to go in? Uh, oh yeah, okay, just keep going off to the right. And then at this point, we're going to want to turn this way. And then it's pretty much a straight path here. And just so I don't get confused here, even though I don't think I will. We need to go there. And we need to go here. And here's going to be our last turn. And we do have a thing of fuel and repairs right in that truck. The GMC right here. So, if we need it, then we come on down this way. And then we're golden. Alright. Probably not the smartest place to stop and look at the map, but... We'll be fine. Again, I'm just gonna kind of cut corners here. Pretty much, whenever you go up or down a slope, it's it's advisable to go straight up or down rather than an angle if you're worried about flipping. Although sometimes it's hard to judge the slope when you're going off your road. The grass sometimes, to me anyway, can hide what the slope looks like. I, I've fallen into that quite a bit in Russia in particular. Um, I could fuel up as I pass scout truck just to do it. But I think there's a high likelihood we send this back to the garage afterwards, so... Yeah, I don't know. Because I'm just not sure what else it's going to do. There aren't any... hauling, uh, jobs over in uh, Drummond Island, that map. Um, there is going to be a job. You know, I, I said earlier that I didn't think that last job is going to be all that difficult. I don't know where the thing that I need to transport is going to come from, and I have a suspicion. Now, this is just a suspicion. I, I haven't seen this quest done. I don't really know. That we may have to take that equipment through multiple maps, which would be really interesting. But if that was the case, I'm not going to use this truck to do so. So, I think I have better trucks for the job. I'm curious what the upgrade path on this is, though. Because, as I said, I, I have never sent this over to the garage. Okay, so this is going to be one of the trickier parts of our journey. I think we'll be okay, though. I sent this truck down this path before, but it was unladen, so we'll see. Yeah, this truck's by no means bad, though. It just... It's just tricky. I think a lot of the trucks here, they have their certain utility, and they could be really good. The only real weak points I see in the trucks, I think all of them are viable, but the, the ones that are pretty much just highway trucks, those... You don't really have an upgrade path, so you can't... You can't really make them much better. You can give them better tires, but that's only so much you can do with that. If you want more of a challenge, those trucks are doable, sure, but... Yeah. Um, I guess I can update you on stuff that I did in between streams. So, I bought that one Scout, really liked it. Uh, I ended up upgrading the, the Chevrolet... I think it's the, it's something 70, the, the Kodiak, I think it's called. Uh, you get that fairly on, early on in the, uh, the first map. 
I upgraded it to uh, the fullest extent that I could. I drove it around. It's an okay truck, but I just think I had better trucks. So I ended up selling that, and that's one of the ways I got money to buy that scout car. Or scout truck. I call them scout cars just so it get more of a differentiation between bigger truck, but most of them are really trucks. Except for a couple of the Russian vehicles. All right. Now this bridge area is a little tricky because the ground just before the bridges is uneven and muddy. So I do have to be careful. I, there's been a couple times where I've almost flipped trucks. So I'm probably going to take the entry slow and really look at the ground in front of me before I move. If I remember correctly, one of the spots is just as you come off the bridge on the left side here. We're going to have to watch. It's one of those things where I think it's deceptive. Um, because it doesn't look bad, but... Eh, it didn't seem to be a thing here. Okay. Well... Ah, that was a uh, quick winch save. <laughs> yeah, so it is there. So right there, you have this spot where your truck just dips down. And you really don't see it coming. And because we take our turn pretty wide... Definitely a problem, so... I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, because I don't think I'm going to make the turn now. And if I back up, I'm just going to go back in that divot. Oh, camera just went crazy. I'm going to have to pull myself forward. I don't think there's a way around it, and we're going to have to tiptoe around here. So this is going to be me tapping to take this really carefully because I do not obviously want to flip. But they're not giving me a lot of room to maneuver here. I mean, look at that. I, If the camera would behave. Um, you can't really... Yeah, I can't really show it to you because the camera keeps freaking out whenever I look in that direction. But um, there's not really anything to see there. To indicate that you're going to have this dramatic dip. It's possible it's hidden by mud, but we might get stuck here, too. I might have to rescue this guy. Uh, you know what? We should have stuck it in low range, but I'm going to need to reverse again, so. I could winch over there to help pull my nose around. I'm just afraid that we'll flip if I'm not careful. Um, let's just take it gingerly, and if it looks like we're starting to lean, yeah. Go low range here. Now we're leaning the other way. Alright. Diff lock. Yeah, that was almost really bad. Uh, okay, so we made it, but I think a similar thing might happen on this other bridge, so we're going to have to take this easy. I think I would have flipped if I hadn't done the quick winch thing there. Okay. Yeah, see, <laughs> another little bit of a dip. I think because I was going slow enough, it wasn't a problem, but... Yeah. And honestly, if you have a long slope, even if it's not a bad slope and you're top-heavy like this, I think this truck is really susceptible to flipping. It's very long and very narrow. Oh well, we made it. Although I, I shouldn't speak too soon. <laughs> Well, I knew that that bridge was tricky, so... That wasn't a surprise to me that we almost got flipped there. That's the thing with this game. Is... A lot of times you flip over, you don't really see it coming, unless you're more familiar with the area. 
Because, again, looking at that spot, it doesn't look like something that would flip you, but... Alright, I'm just going to try and help pull myself through this turn. Uh, we're probably going to get stuck there. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Go from the back. Oh, I'm not in range. Yeah, that's what I think is kind of funny with this truck. Is it's so long, you're going to find winch points. It just... Is it going to be the winch points you want? If this was any other truck, I would have been able to winch to the back to that telephone pole because it's so long. It wasn't in range. Alright. Uh, I think... But well, we're, we're really close to getting it. As long as we don't flip, because then I'd have the problem of having to get the uh, drilling equipment. Oh, does the diff lock work on this in full auto? That would be different than typical. No, okay. Because I don't remember turning the diff lock on. Maybe I was in low range and didn't realize it. Let's just pull ourselves through here. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, I see what's going on. This branch here is wedged on us, so it's kind of stopping us. Looks like they may have fixed some of the physics, because um, it used to be really easy to break these uh, fallen trees and just get them out of your way. But I, I would have thought I would have run over that thing enough to have broken it. Maybe they fixed that. I wasn't aware it was broken, but maybe that's not what that wasn't working as they intended. So those are going to be more of an obstacle, perhaps. All right, one more to go. Looks like night is falling, though. Go. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and recover this because, again, I don't think there's anything else we can do here. Uh, if I look on the map, as far as quests that are here, there's literally one. Uh, fallen antenna, I've, uh, I... You gotta send a cargo container over here, and it says truck with a crane is recommended. I'm not sure why. Maybe because you have to drop it off with the crane? It's possible the cargo container is somewhere on the map. I don't know. Uh, we'd have to uh, start tracking it and everything. Oh, so there's something you do here, because that's your pickup, and you drop it off there. All right, well, we'll worry about that later, but that's not going to need, a container's only two uh, spaces, so it's not going to need this truck, so I think we just go ahead and send it to the garage. And this is my point where I get to actually look at this thing and see what what's going on with it, so... I'm curious what kind of tires it had, because it did quite well. Look at it, it just comes with all-terrain tires, so... That's really good performance out of just all-terrain tires, as that map is fairly muddy and buggy. So, yeah, that's pretty amazing. Um, uh, Looks like you can raise up the suspension and get bigger tires. I'd be really, really worried about this thing flipping with a raised suspension. So I'm not sure I would do that, but let's take a look at how much we actually have here. So we don't have the most powerful engine we can have in this thing. I'm going to guess this is the same engine line as goes in the P-16. Because I want to say that's the same engine. Not positive on that, but that would explain why it has so much power, though. Yeah, so we don't have really... We're missing a lot of the upgrade potential of this thing. No possibility of all-wheel drive ever. Um, yeah, so it's a heavy class, so it comes with a heavy uh, winch. You can have a spare wheel. Uh, engageable diff lock. And then we could install a snorkel if we wanted. What other upgrades do we have? Uh, exhaust, that's just basic cosmetic stuff. Yeah. 
Um, horns. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, factory beacons. Factory parking lights. So, we can get fog lights if you, if you want. Or beacons and fog lights. So the beacons are going to be uh, those taller orange things. We could uninstall them and sell them if we wanted to. Um, let's see. So these are all mostly cosmetic, I think. Although sometimes they come with lights like that, which can help. I actually don't know if there's a benefit for, for the front bumpers. Like they'll give you more clearance or protect your engine from damage or something. The game doesn't say they have anything going there, but... So, yeah, these are just sun visors. Oh, it comes with a sun visor. All right. Then you got your rims, which there are not a lot of choices for. Grab that one, whatever. And then your paint job. Kind of like the one that it comes with, which is this guy. Got red and black, white and red. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think we're probably just going to sit on this one. I could sell it. I'm curious how much it would sell for. So let me... Uh, Take a look at that. Yeah, it sells for a decent amount. But for right now, I'm just going to park it somewhere. And we'll worry about it later. Hopefully it's not too much in the way. We'll stick it over in the corner over here. All right, let's pop back into the quest we're doing. So we want to go back over to Island Lake. Come on over to that. I really like this truck. I think this truck's going to be amazing. And I, I definitely want to see if we got any more upgrades because we've explored more in Alaska. Uh, we may have got them. We may not have. Uh, I definitely need to explore Alaska more. Uh, but yeah, this truck seems to be pretty good. Alright, let's turn all-wheel drive on. I think we just move forward. So this is another thing where we've got fuel here. Um, which I brought over with one of my other trucks. It was just one of the fuel trailers just sitting around on the map. So I, I just grabbed it and brought it over. And then we'll also pass by the GMC, which has some uh, fuel and repair. I, I damaged the fuel tank on this guy a little bit, so maybe we'll go and do that. Keep an eye on the tires, see if we get bogged down. It's darker, so it's a little harder to see that kind of stuff, but this truck's fairly capable. I forget what kind of tires I have on it. I would assume off-roads, but... I'm not sure. I'm curious what the tire selection is. Not, a, not very many of the American trucks come with the ability to have mud tires. Only a handful do. Yeah, I don't know what... When you unlock this, like at what point, what level you have to be. But this is one of my favorite, probably my favorite of the trucks I have right now. My favorite kind of standard American truck. There are other trucks I like quite a bit, but they are very specific in their, your, in their utility. Like I like the Pacific P16, but it's not really a truck with a lot of utility. But it's good... Especially early on, if you can find it. It's good for pulling things. Uh, I've used it to rescue my other trucks a number of times. Because it's, it's got a lot of power in its engine. It's not a fast truck, by any means. But, uh, early on, too, it comes with off-road tires. It's the only kind of tire it can have. It only has one tire choice. I'm going to go ahead and repair while we're here. Although, then again, we might just go to the garage after this because I'm still in the same situation where after we do this quest the rest of the quests we have to do uh, are Smithville dam ones 
And that's where our garage is, so... I have uh, another quest in mind, though. With what we're gonna do here. I do have to come back to this map for sure. To... Do that last bit. But I, I need a crane. Apparently. So low range. Let's see if it can get out on its own. Okay. We'll help it along here. I don't think there's any trailer stores on this map. I could be mistaken. As a matter of fact, there might be one up ahead. There might be. After we deliver this, I might sell the trailer. Yeah, that time we smashed that tree. Alright, I'm gonna have to tell it. That's one thing that's kind of interesting with this, is it's asymmetric with your winch points. There's a couple other trucks I've seen with that, but definitely not usual. Probably gonna have to switch to another point or just let it pull itself out. Looks like it's gonna make it on its own. Because that's one thing I've been kind of doing to get a little bit of money is selling trailers that I don't need anymore. Because Michigan is just littered with trailers at this stage. Alright. There we go. I was suspected we found oil out in the swamp. Lots of it. We appreciate you clearing the place out. We're going to set up some new rigs and start pumping. All right. That was a decent amount of reward. Oh, okay. So there's now... Um, first off, let's stop the engine here. Uh, there's now a thing that just opened up there for cargo. I'm not sure if that's going to come into play or not. Yeah, so this is a trailer store right here. So I think what I'm going to do... I'll probably also sell the scout fuel trailer. I mean... The main reason why, I'm not sure if I can hook up to it, so I'm not 100% on whether we can sell it, but I mean, it's literally just right here. I could just buy it from the trailer store, so that's one of those circumstances where it doesn't really make sense <laughs> to keep, you know, to keep that there. Just to sell it, and you can buy, wherever there's a trailer store, you can buy it back. It costs the same either way. I do like that about this game, that things cost exactly the same, that... Uh, you sell them for the same that you would buy them for, which is, which is cool. I like that. A lot of games, you, you don't get your value back. And I don't think that's really a problem with this game either, because a lot of the upgrades and things actually cost quite a lot. Like, your, your highest level uh, winch, depending on which vehicle it is, can cost like 18 plus thousand. Which is, you know, quite a lot. And if you have to buy trailers later on, which it seems in the later parts of the game, you, you pretty much need to do. Because in Michigan, they have a lot of trailers just laying around, oftentimes with cargo already loaded onto them. But as you get further on, especially in Russia, there's very, very few trailers sitting around for you to use. Alright. Go ahead and sell this guy. Yeah, that's, see, that's sold for quite a lot, too. And if I can get attached to this, which I'm not sure if I can. Well, I also have to see if just getting a winch on it would uh, count. Ooh. <laughs> Forgot I needed a break. But if we can attach to it, which again, I'm not sure it will allow me, but... Because I'm not a scout vehicle. But I've never tried, so... We'll give it a try. Oh uh, yeah, no suitable trailer to attach. So what I'm going to do instead, just winch to it and see if that's enough. You sell it. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to have to bring a scout vehicle over here to get rid of it. But I do have a scout vehicle on the map. It wouldn't be that hard to do. 
Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, we're done with this truck on this map. Because again, we have all of, I mean, there's these timed uh, quests, but I'm probably going to do those absolutely last because I want to make sure I have the best trucks for the job because they're time oriented. You have to do the job in a given time. So I'll probably wait on that. But the fall on antenna, we need a crane, so we can wait. I'll go ahead and just recover this guy. We could stick around and sell that other trailer. That would give us almost seven grand. And I'm sure whatever cargo is on it is not really going to be of much use the, the, now. Well, for right now, I have other things to do. So I'll make my mind later. Uh, let's go to the other thing I wanted to do, which is going to be over on a different map. So we're going to jump back over to Smithville Dam. And I should have this all ready to go. So the Fleet Star 2070, I upgraded... So it's got the best engine it can have, and I painted it, gave it a new paint job, and we're all color coordinated. We got red and black for our truck, uh, red, black, and white for our crane. So I'm using the, the big crane for this one, and I have the trailer, which just so happens to also match our paint scheme. So hey, we're really matching. Okay, so what quest are we going to be doing? We're going to do Unfortunate Event. Dyson Diesel here. We got a situation. We lost a couple of barrels of fuel in the river. I'd appreciate it if you handle it quietly. I don't need any troublesome environmental inquiries, understand? So we need to get the oil barrels to the warehouse. Now oil barrels only they take up only one slot of cargo, but I have a, a bigger trailer because we have to pick up three of these things. Now it might just be easy to pick this guy up and immediately drop him off. I'm not really sure. This is probably going to be fairly tricky because I it looks like we're going to have to go along the beach here and I'm not exactly sure how you get to this one. Maybe we go to this one first and then come along here because it seems like there's more of a, a set path. We pick up that one and then we try and get back and we pick up this one last. It makes, I think, a certain semblance of sense. So, yeah, let's go for it. Oh, I forgot to track it. Uh, I also might wait until morning. It depends on what time it is. It's 1.31. Um, that's not the one I want to do. Track. Okay. So, yeah, I think we'll we'll go here while it is night because it'll take me some time to get there. But once we start getting onto trickier parts where I'm going to really need to see, I'll probably advance time. So in the case of the Fleet Star, I guess I should point out some of the upgrades I did. You have no uh, possibility of doing the, the fog lights, um, but you can get the uh, upgrade to the front bumper that has a couple extra lights, which gives you a little bit more light in the front. So it's definitely better than the stock headlights. I quite like. I just wanted to show that off. This crane should be fairly heavy. So I'm not sure if we're going to flip over or not, but we'll, <laughs> we'll just see how it goes. I don't know what those trails that we have to move through are going to be like, so... I definitely saved this quest for last on this map. Because I was concerned about getting to the location. But I'm hoping with this crane we don't necessarily have to get all that close to where these things are. And we can still haul them decently. We'll see though, I've never used this crane. This will be a learning experience. I've always used the smaller cranes. keep my eye on the fuel consumption because this is the first time we're using this engine as well. It seems mostly okay, but we've been on the roads. Uh, the real test will be when we get to
the off-road stuff and lower gears where we really have to pull. Might have to mark the turn off point. I think I'm gonna stop at the end of the dam here. Advance time. And then we'll mark our turn off point. Do the marking first, because you do pass time while you're sitting here. Alright, so. This is definitely the road. I don't know what to expect of this. This b bit looks dicey. I'm not sure what choice we have. We're going to have to go down this road and this road, I think. I just don't know how bad they're going to be. I've been down these paths, I think, in the past, but it's been a long time, so I really don't remember what they're like. But in any case, we'll take a peek at it. Um, so I'll go this way first. Even though, in theory, I can get to either location from this path. Um, we'll go this way. I just don't know what to expect from this path. And I'm going to lay it out very precisely. Because sometimes these smaller paths, as much as you see them easily on the map, they're not this easy to follow once you actually do it. So, okay. Let's go ahead and skip time until 6 in the morning. We can turn off our lights now. Okay. Get going. Depending on how this goes, we might even use this truck to do that other quest on the other map. As we do need a crane, this is a crane. Probably a waste, but... The small crane would probably do the job just fine. I'm not liking the look of that road, but we'll give it a try. If it looks like Flipsville, I might have to think of an alternate path, but right now it's not obviously bad. It's pretty muddy here. I'm going to just go low range. Yeah, so we're into the teens with the fuel consumption. At the, at the extent. Looks like t almost 13 liters a minute. So, fuel may be, definitely be a problem here. We may need to get somebody to refuel us. Because that's the one downside of this truck. This is a very capable truck. It's a truck you can get early on. And as once you get to the state that I have it, with it fully upgraded, I think it's a very good truck. But... It does not have a very big fuel tank. So as a result, it does struggle with that. Alright. No, that's not the winch point I want. I don't want to lose my momentum here, but it probably doesn't matter. Oof. Yeah, want a winch to that. Thank you. Alright. Give it gas so we don't roll down the hill as soon as we let off the handbrake. It was probably that rock that was stopping us. The physics of rocks are kind of interesting in this game. So, uh, they've been kind of the bane of my existence. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've gotten stuck on rocks. Even little tiny rocks. Alright, come on. Yeah, so far, so good. A lot of uphill, but 
No crazy slopes yet that I think are gonna be a major flipping risk. But we'll see. This path, I'm a little concerned about because it looks like the right path is possibly easier. This one, I don't know. Okay. That looks terrible. Maybe if we're getting there, it's not so bad. I'm really concerned we flip with that path. What does this path here look like? I don't know what it looks like once it starts to turn. Because here to here is fine. It's this path here that might just be as bad as this. So it might be a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. But now that I know this is severely downslope and there is going to be a, a, a corner here with all these rocks, I think this is not the path to take. I think it's it's too dicey. So I think we're going to go the other way. This is one of those things I, I was going to make the judgment call once we got here. This, as I said, this might be just as bad. But it doesn't look that bad on the map, and uh, in person, the other path looks really bad, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and hook onto that. We can figure out how we're gonna get there on our own. Uh, probably gonna need to back up, because I, I, I moved a little too far forward. But I wanted to see what that slope looked like, so... Hopefully this isn't equally as bad. I am going to have to take this slow and be careful. Ordinarily, I don't think this truck would worry too much about this kind of stuff, but that crane is probably really causing our truck to be top-heavy, so any amount of possibility of flipping us over is probably going to be amplified. Okay, so it's going to be the right path here. I can't see it just yet. Yeah, that doesn't look as bad. I'm just going to take it slow. Uh, maybe just stick it in the low range. What am I stuck on? Get that diff lock going as well. Might be a little too hard for the diff lock and I might have to turn it off, but... Keep an eye on my trailer so I don't get hung up on that. I'm gonna let it roll me rather than use the gas. Okay, so far so good. This corner might be tricky, but... As long as we use the brakes, take it nice and slow, we should be okay. This rock may flip us. Yeah, that's not good. But we got past it. I'm really concerned about making it back this way. If there's an alternate path, I may take it. Alright, well, I can't sit here and make decisions, so I'm just going to have to... But... We might want to get the oil barrel on the right here first and then think about an alternate path back rather than this way up because that is a crazy slope up and we struggled with some uphill earlier. Um, let, me, let me evaluate our choices here. So we definitely need to hit that up. Maybe rather than go back up this way, we... Uh, we go out this way. It's going to be a lot longer path, which is going to make this much more annoying because we have to go all the way down the snake path. But I do not think this truck is going to make it back up this way. And I don't think this is going to be any easier, especially once we're laden down with these barrels. So I think the smart choice is to go this way. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to hit up the oil barrel on our right first. Um, as a matter of fact, let's just grab that waypoint to there. Something like that. Okay. Probably going to be easier if we take this a little off to the left here. Go through here. There's a possibility to hang up the trailer on this tree. I'm going to try and take it nice and easy. Obviously, do not want to drive into the ocean if I can avoid it. <laughs> or river is probably more accurate. Reverse it up a little bit. A 
We're gonna make the turn. I just don't want to get stuck in slop. Okay. So far, so good. Always keep the trees nearby in case we do get stuck. I did not upgrade the winch, I don't think, on this truck, so it's still the stock. So. But if I'm right, we don't really have to be that close to this thing to pick this up. This should probably suffice. We'll see. Oh, I have to keep the engine on. Um, activate anchor. Rain mode. We'll see how long range this thing is. This might be too far away, but we'll give it a try. We can always attach and winch. Okay, start lifting it. Yeah, that seemed to work okay. I mean, it wasn't quite within range, but we can always pull the rope in. Okay, start pulling it towards us. Alright. We have to get it on our trailer, so start swinging it back there. While also simultaneously pulling it a little closer to ourselves. I've never tried doing this with keyboard and mouse, but this works pretty well with the controller. One of the reasons why I'm kind of happy I'm using a controller. It doesn't have to be perfect. All it has to be is be on the trailer. That looks like it's sufficient. Okay. Let's pack the cargo. First and foremost. Store a crane. Uh, and figure out how we're going to get out of here. I'm not very good with backing up a trailer, so I'm going to try and turn this around more naturally. I just have to keep my eye on the trees and not straight too far away from them. Because I'm worried about getting stuck on this beach. I might have to do some reversing here. You know what I can do? Help myself. We can pull the trailer. As long as it doesn't flip, of course. But if it flips, we have the crane to fix it, so... I'm going to try and do some reversing here. I'm trying to think which direction I want to reverse in. Probably going to cause the trailer to get all funky. Oh, that's right. I got to go. Because again, I'm not... Oh, we're stuck. Alright. Uh, we use this to help. Alright, so the trailer may get funky here. But we can always use the winch to pull it. Alright, that'll do. I just have to keep myself close to the trees. I think we'll be alright. I got myself stuck, I think. Alright, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. Attach trailer. That didn't help. Yeah, attach trailer. <laughs> this might be one of those situations where we're grabbing another truck to help. Oh, I saw... No, I don't have the anchor still, because when you do restore a crane, that gets rid of the anchor. For a second there, I almost thought... Did I mess up? But what I could do is I could detach a trailer, and then... Um... Use... Why doesn't it let me use this winch point? I guess if you're too close to a trailer, it doesn't let you use the winch point. I was hoping to kind of pull myself around with the winch. I'm definitely stuck. I don't really want to pull that way. Not sure if this will help or not. Okay. 
Detached trailer. This is going to pull me the wrong way, which is why I kind of didn't want to do it. I wanted to pull from the back. Okay, now we can do it. Let's attach to that point. There we go. That's what we needed. Now it's just a matter of figuring out how to pull the uh, trailer around. But we're headed in the right direction now. I might be stuck again, but... That we can figure out. Yeah, this is why I was concerned about straying away from the trees. Because I figured this beach would be horrible. I'm running out of things to winch to, though. Hopefully this will get us where we want to go. Kind of hoping it would carry me forward. Yeah, I don't get it. We were fine. I guess I'll attach like that. I just need to pull myself so I can... Get out over one of these other trees and start pulling forward. Maybe we can... Yeah, I'm hopelessly stuck now. I can attach the trailer, but that's not really going to help me. It's going to pull the trailer, not the truck. We could use the wind... Could I use the crane to help me? I don't know. I'm really close to being next to that tree. Alright, I'm gonna try something. This could be a horrible catastrophe. I don't even know if it lets you do this. I don't know how I pick what my winch point is. I think it's just gonna winch to the trailer. Yeah, it's just gonna winch to the trailer. Damn. Uh, restore crane. I might have to have send something over here to rescue me because I am stuck real bad. And I don't think there's a way I'm getting out of this. Not unless I can grab onto one of those trees. My own trailer's in the way right now. All right, let's try pulling this way now. I just have to get a bit further forward. I find it surprising how badly stuck I am. Yeah, I'm still just out of range. Yeah, screw this. We're going to burn way too much fuel, and I'm never going to get anywhere doing this. So this is a pain in the ass, but sometimes this is how this goes. So let's grab the P-16. I talked about how the P-16 oftentimes got me out of trouble. Uh, we have to recover it just to get us fuel. 